Hi guys, Caitlin Taylor here, one of the resident stylists at Kiwi Property, and I'm here to bring you a style video on jeans. So in this video, we're gonna showcase three different styles of jeans. I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how to style them, what to wear them with, and what to look for when you're trying to find the perfect pair of jeans, so stay tuned. Style number one is the classic skinny jean. Now, I'm sure we all have a pair of these in our wardrobe, but what are you looking for when it comes to finding the perfect pair? Well, the first thing you wanna do is make sure there's a lot of stretch in the jeans. It just makes them more comfortable, easier to get on, and easier to move around in every day. One expert tip is to try down a size. So if the jeans feel a little bit snug when you're first trying them on, they're probably gonna give enough to be the perfect fit, not too far down the track. A mid-tone denim is often a really good color to go for. It will match with everything, dark colors, light colors, dressed up and more casual. And look for a jean that finishes on or about the ankle. That way you can wear it with a flat shoe or a heel. Now when you're styling the top, the beauty of a skinny jean is they'll often be a mid to high rise. So you can wear tops loose like I have to cover the beautiful bump, or you can tuck the front of the t-shirt in like we have here on Sarah. So a good pair of skinny jeans will basically take you from day to night, from casual to smart, and do everything else in between. So style number two is the boyfriend jean. Now the boyfriend jean is called the boyfriend jean because you want them to fit like you've thrown on your boyfriend's bigger jeans. Uh, generally a boyfriend jean won't have as much elastane in them so you don't need as much stretch because they are supposed to be a looser fit. Uh, what you want to look for is something that sits mid-rise to low-rise. So you want them to sit on your hips. Way to style them is to tuck something into them or wear something fitted on top. Now the boyfriend jeans traditionally are a more relaxed style. So to get the proportions of your body right, you want to have something neater and more fitted on the top so you're not looking like everything is baggy. Another tip to making boyfriend jeans feel more feminine is to roll the ankles up a little bit more to bring them neat in around the ankle and to expose that slimmest part of our leg. So we styled Sarah with the same t-shirt, this time we've tucked it fully in and added a belt and heels. Now the heels will also help elongate your legs. So when you're wearing a more relaxed style, the proportions of your body are still nice and tall and slim. So our third style of jeans we're looking at is the wide leg jean. Now this is definitely one of the newest trends we're seeing come back in jean shapes. Now the difference between a wide leg and a traditional boot cut is the wide leg starts getting wider from the hip down rather than a boot cut which starts to widen from the knee down. Now a wide leg jean can be quite a statement. I'm definitely a fan of if you're going to do a wide leg, go big or go home. Uh, it creates a really good silhouette but again you want to look for something that's quite high waisted because that will lengthen your leg and then making sure that the top half is neat or tucked or fitted or tied like we have on the t-shirt here with Sarah. Some great shoes to wear with the wide leg jeans are either trainers or wedges because the width of the hem will kind of hide the shoe a little bit, but you can then dress it up with a heel or a wedge and dress it down with a trainer. So don't be scared of a wide leg jean. Look for a style that's high-waisted. You don't want too much stretch in them because you want them to be nice and secure, but they're definitely a style to give a go this spring. 